You know, with the running water and just the peaceful sounds, I can totally understand falling asleep here. This place is really peaceful. Shame we don't have time for that. Hello everybody, I am the game here and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we started Battle Rock and suffered through one of the worst levels in the game. In this episode, we're gonna finish off Battle Rock and take and uh I guess finish off whatever other stars we have left here in the fountain. And what and what other way to start with Top Maniac and the Top Man tribe? Oh, that reminds me of the planet from last episode. Gives me bad memories. Don't make me go back there. Well, luckily we don't have to go back there immediately. Instead, we have a chance to explore the planet and meet a new enemy, Monty Mole, is a classic Mario enemy that I believe originated in Super Mario Bros. 3. Don't quote me. Beating them is rather simple. Force feed them a star bit and then go up and spin into them. And they'll give you three star bits each time, so you'll always have a net profit. Okay, I don't care enough about you guys. I missed. I didn't actually need to kill these monster moles, but I did because I only really have a reason. I guess Mario's just a bit crazy. These guys, I forget the enemy name of, which is sucks because which sucks because I remember I was looking them up before the episode started. What's down here? Nothing. What a waste of time. Ow! I'm sorry I called you a waste of time. I didn't mean it. Onto the planet that fills me with existential dread. Here we have a new enemy, the Top Men. Wasn't that riveting? They're going to come at you and try to spin you around. They can't actually hurt you, they'll just try to knock you around. But if you knock them into electricity, they can't do anything. What do you have to say, little guy? Thank you. Oh, sweet freedom. I'll show you a shortcut as you're rewarded. Transform! Onward we go! To kill more Monty Moles! Oh, you know, that was something I didn't actually do. You can get an extra coin, coin from them if you jump on Monty Moles instead. Fascinating. Down we go. New mechanic, gravity switch arrows. Just hit them and, you know, it switches gravity. Can I say more? Uh, I don't want to go for that block. Just because that fireball is right there. There is a life over there, but I don't want to get it. Because you can actually get a little bit of a level skip if you just do that. So... See, the battery mirror proves my little level skip. Give all these peppermint ones because, uh, you know, no one likes peppermint. No one likes it here because it crushes your very soul. <laughs> anyway, let's go forward. Oh, also, always remember crush damage is instant death. Just important to keep in mind at all times. And we have ourselves a spring beamer here. I've gone over these guys a bit when we did uh, flip switch, but let's talk about them again. Just jump on them and they'll launch you forward. Uh, also, I just want to say this is my favorite like dramatic cutscene right here, just because it takes you all the way to the ceiling just to drop you. I guess I should demonstrate what happens when the top man hits you. You spin. Riveting. Oh man, we blew it up! That's actually really cool. And here we are, ready to fight the top men. Something I should show is if you go around to the other side, you can run to a new friend, the Luma Shop. 
I decided to him. Luma Lee, Luma Bap, welcome to Luma Shop. I can see anything helpful with 30 star bits. Give him 30 star bits, he'll give you a uh, a life shroom or a one up. But something that's kind of interesting, I feel like I should take the time to show this. I'll waste at 30 star bits so I can show you something. For starters, if you hit buy, he forces you into this. There's no way you can back out of this. What I'm going to show is what happens if you get a life shroom while you have a life shroom? More if you're wondering and are utterly curious. Nothing. Riveting! I just wanted to show that off. There was no reason for me to do that other than to show there's no points in getting life streams if you have extra. So never go out of your way, never do anything. Anyway, I should actually acknowledge our boss. Meet Top Maniac. He will drop from the sky and get his saw blades and drop from top as well. Bash into him, and when you hit him twice, he gets super mad and releases some top men. What? But how did you not... He's the same as all other top men, just launch him into electricity. Simple and done. Where did this coin come from? I don't care, I'm collecting it. And that was the last level here. Wasn't that a riveting boss fight? Exhilarating. Blood pumping. Other synonyms. Uh, yes, indeed. I copied my file again, so there's no problem if I save. Alright, uh, we are officially done with Battle Rock for now. So, let's say we explore the other galaxies here. And let's start with the whatever one is closest, which happens to be... You know what, why, why would we want to start with the closest? I mean, there's no reason we have to. Let's go a little farther out. Explore the depths of the galaxy. Start outward and move in. You know, there's no reason we should be in a rush to die painfully. Welcome to Hurry Scurry Galaxy, and let's jump forward onto this shrinking satellite. Okay, I, I said this in Flip Switch Galaxy, and I'll say it again. This is not a galaxy, this is a planet. If even that, hell, even the game calls it a satellite, not a galaxy. The whole concept of this place is simple. All the platforms are going to disappear. So, hurry scurry. All the coins! I think I nearly screwed this up last time, but I didn't, so let's see if I can do a bit better. Well, that was a riveting galaxy. Just like, just like Flip Switch, I don't feel like that could be qualified as a galaxy. It's one star, two planets, and they barely qualify as planets, considering... I think they're both uh, man and or Koopa-made structures. So, like, they call it a satellite. So... I guess, I guess that's a philosophical thing. Are the galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy galaxies? Oh, hey, I did have a comment. You guys ready for the easiest comment in the game? Watch me die now. We've gone over Daredevil comments in the past with the Luma, so let's talk about. Let's actually take one on now. So for starters, you might notice a couple things different. One being that the Luma Shop is not here, which is good because that means I can't waste another 30 star bits on an item I don't need. 
The other thing is, we only have one health. That's the bare basics of a Daredevil run. You have one health, get hit once, it's done. You're done. Everything's done. So, be careful. Ah, go into the electricity, sir. Oh! Well, I did call it, I was going to die. Attempt number two. That was embarrassing to die to top man, but to be fair, it wasn't fully my fault. I got kind of forced into the center, where he landed on top of me. Oh, what? God, I suck. They can't actually hurt you. They can't actually hurt you. I died twice on the top Mania deal. This is... I shouldn't have called it easy. That was my mistake. I did this first try last time, and now I died to it twice. Game, if you're expecting me to acknowledge Top Maniac as hard, I'm not gonna. He's still not. I'm honestly ashamed of dying through dying twice on this level of all levels. So let's leave and never remember that this level ever existed. Forget my shame. Of course, like, I did really well on the last recording, and it failed. While I do- while it's like, I do super- while, like, this is the recording that is going kinda well, and I keep failing on things that I did really well at. Well, I put it off as much as I can. Let's ignore Rolling Green and go through that whole- Hungry Luma because you know we don't need to rush into anything you know hey you yeah you guy takes these star bits wait a minute was top maniac the first death of the let's play he was the first the first death of the let's play came from top maniac I'm ashamed of myself. That's, uh, well, Ollie, put those on the counter. That's two deaths on the counter, I guess. I think those were the first deaths. Whatever. Let's go into Sling Pod Galaxy, where I'm going to hold my wheel knot with two hands because. Oh god, this is misery. Why did I choose this over Rolling Green? I guess I just enjoy my own suffering. And you will too! The concept of Sling Pod Galaxy is simple. Sling from sling pod to sling pod. Not much to say. This can get kind of tough. I'm not going for that life because I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I'll do it one. This level is plentiful in star bits? No? Okay. <laughs> Save myself. This level is plentiful in star bits, so you don't need to worry too too much about running out of lives, you usually just rack up lives via star bits. Uh oh. I think I was gonna hit one of those here. I want that coin! 100% worth it. Okay. 
trying to focus here, because I'm doing way better than I did last time. I think we're almost here, star. Yep, there's a star. Okay. No! No! Come on! Come on! No! That was the end! Add to the counter. First Blood. That's the name of this episode. Okay, okay. Collecting star bits as I hype myself up to try and convince myself that I can, in fact, actually do this. Just had to miss. Nearly did this level first try, because in the failed recording, this was the level that took the first life from me. But of course, I, I, I had a jinx of the top man. Oh no, okay. Well, that actually went better than last time. Last time, that took uh, many more tries. Well, I put it off for as long as I can. Might as well finish the fountain this episode. Let's go to Rolling Green. Well, here we are. God, I'm so excited. Rolling in the clouds. Oh, we're definitely going to be in the clouds. Because the clouds are down below us. And I'm definitely going to fall off. At least five times. This cheery music doesn't make it better. Starbits do, though. Starbits make everything better. Hey now, if you're thinking about rolling that ball away, you better listen to the billboard here. First, you have to get on top of the ball. Done. Alright, yeah, now hold the Wii Remote straight up. Right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From that basic position, tilt the Wii Remote to move the ball in that direction, then just press A to jump. If anything gets you in way, smoosh it. Anyway, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. Yep, we get to roll around on a ball, and it has constant momentum, and you have to control it by using your Wii Remote as a joystick. Yep, I have that same sentiment, battery meter. I want to... I hate this too. Okay. The worst part is, this makes collecting star bits in this level so much harder. Because you have to roll this ball, and you can't just point your point at the screen because that would make you move in full full speed. Uh, well, the other route looks slightly safer. I'm gonna go this route because you know the road less traveled means more death. Why did I go this way? I'm gonna collect a couple star bits. Let's see if we can get an extra life here. Or not. Haha! -ha! Wait. Wow! I was dreading this level and I did it first try. I should stop associating uh, which levels are hard with my memories of, from when I was a kid. From when I was like, you know what, this will probably suck. Because it sucked from when I was a kid. Well, with rolling green done, we are almost done with the fountain. All except for one more little tiny uh, itsy bitsy detail. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're taking the fight straight to Bowser. See you all then.